Hello and welcome to our first practical training about communication interfaces. Today we're going to use uh, this, the serial interface of our Arduino. Okay? RS232 communication, recommended standard 232. I will shortly explain how this is working, then the hardware setup will be done, and then we'll do the software and see what is going on. Okay? So, Serial communication, okay? we talked about this. Here we have a so-called UART. This means universal asynchronous Receiver, transmitter. Okay. We have two of these words huh? on each side one. Okay. This word does have the, the basically there are two pins. There are TX pin. Yeah. Transmit and there's the RX pin, receive pin. Yeah. Of course, which is sent out here must be connected to receive here. Okay, and which is uh, received here must be connected to transmit here. So whatever is transmitted here will be here received, whatever is transmitted here will be here received. Okay? And then we need one line which is necessary to connect both grounds together. If this is a part of the UART, it does not really matter. I said in serial communication, if you remember this picture here, yeah? Zero communication, we do have uh, some logic which needs to put one bit after the other on the line and receive one bit after the other. This is ex exactly what these URs are doing. Yeah? So, these URs, we have one transmit buffer, and the URT will take from its transmit buffer. Yeah? and we'll send away the bits. Yeah? If we're receiving, we do have a receive buffer, and whatever we receive will be shifted in here. Yeah? And if we have received a full byte somehow, yeah? and we're calling in our Arduino program the serial.available, yeah? if there's something inside, we will, this will be true. If there's nothing inside, this will not be true. What happens if, I mean, I cannot influence the behavior of this one, right? This is sending and sending and sending. And if nobody takes it out of the buffer, then the buffer is filled up. And once the buffer is filled up, it will be flushed. Yeah. Gone. Nobody is interested in what I received. Gone. Yeah. So the UART is working independent from the program asynchronous from the program. Yeah? So the program has to ask the UART if something is there, or the program has to tell the UART, hey, please send this. This is this, serial print or serial write or something like this. Yeah? UART. The issue now with our Arduino is we only have one hardware UART inside. Yeah? So this logic here, this is a hardware function inside the chip. Yeah? This is once there in the uno in the mega we have four yeah? so this one word is used by our usb board and if we want to communicate with another system and have the usb board free for programming for communicating with the arduino we need to do we do need to do it with a different approach yeah and these words 
can also be programmed in software. Yeah? And there is something on the Arduino world which is called a uh, software serial. Yeah, and this software serial is simply doing this UART uh, functionality in software. Yeah? This we are going to use on our UNO. So that's basically it, how this is working. So we need three wires connecting ground to ground, TX to RX and RX to TX. That's it. And both systems should be able to talk to each other. If this is really true, we will see. Okay, now let's come to the hardware setup. I will do this. You see? Two Arduinos, yeah, different brand even. Yeah, you see, it's slightly different uh, in the. Some pieces are different simply. Yeah. This is labeled here. This is not labeled here. Well, there are slightly differences. So what I need to connect? Yeah. I want to make it like this. Yeah. So, ground to ground. Tx to Rx and Rx to Tx. Yeah. So I'll use here is my ground. This I will connect to ground. Yeah. Then I will use the pins two and three. So I will connect two to three. Okay. And with a second wire I connect three. To two. Now they are crossed. I mean, that's it. Not too complicated. Yeah. Now, if you do it at home, yeah, you need a second Arduino. Or if you do it in school, then ask your neighbor. Yeah. This would be partner, partner training. Yeah. I have two. USB wires here. Yeah. One I'm going to connect to here. So it started. Yeah. One I'm going to connect to here. So this one is also started. Ah, I need. Maybe. Why cables do always know how to disturb? The most. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah? Did, do, do not look that smart, right? This is how it looks like now. <laughs> Let's have a look on the program. Okay. So, the program. I already opened uh, Arduino. Yeah? And now I do have here under tools because I connected both Arduinos. Yeah, you have seen. Yeah, I connect. I have COM8 and COM9, and I'm not sure which is which. I will simply disconnect now the one with the black. Tools board COM9. Okay, so this is COM8. This is COM9. Now I know. I will connect. Again, reconnect again. So I should get COM8. COM8 is the one with the black cable. This we know now. Now I will save the program, of course. Save as. Uh, I will keep this convention again. Yeah. Ooh, which 40, 40 already, 40th program. Yeah. I will call it serial chat because this is actually what we're going to do. We're producing a chat. Safe. I said, I said, it's an issue. It's an issue because our Arduino does not have a second U word. So we need to use a software serial. Therefore, we include, include, uh, uh, Library and this is called software serial. C 
Software Serial, Sift, Sift is not, Software Serial. Okay. Now we can produce a Software Serial UART. Okay. How this is produced? This is produced by Software Serial. Yeah. And now a lot of guys or not a lot of people write uh, my serial. I don't. I know it's my serial. It's a software serial. I call it the other, yeah? because it's my talking path to the other Arduino, the other. Yeah? And I need to give a receive pin and a transmit pin. Yeah? So as I said, I'm using pin two and three, and you know I'm not happy with this. Yeah? So I usually define. Uh, some compile time constant rx pin yeah, 2 and tx pin 3. This I like more because now I can imagine better what is behind this. Yeah. Software serial is now there. Passed. Good. Setup. What we need in that setup? We need a serial begin to write something to write something on, on the USB port. Okay. I will use again 9600 because this should be sufficient for us. And of course the software serial must also begin. This software serial should now behave pretty much like the hardware serial. Yeah? So I write the other yeah, dot begin. And I will also write 9600 baud. Okay. And on my serial monitor, I will give my instruction that we started up pretty well. Yeah. Enter something you like. That's it. That's a do in the software in the setup. Yeah. Now what are we going to do in the loop? Yeah. In the loop, we want that uh, if somebody enters something at the uh, USB port, yeah, at the serial monitor, I want to write this to the other. Yeah. So, if serial is a way level, yeah, something at the serial, somebody typed something in, in the receive buffer of the serial of the hardware you word is something available. Yeah. Then we do the following. Yeah. I need a character also. Character can hold exactly one byte. Okay. Hop, cha -cha. Yeah. I will read this one character out of the receive buffer yeah, with serial read. Now I read exactly one byte out of the receive buffer of the hardware you heard. Yeah. And I will write this serial write yeah, to the other, exactly what I just received. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And if I receive something from the other side, yeah, then I will write it on the serial port. Say, hey, the other side answered. Yeah. There's no more silence from the other side. So I do exactly the same, but with the roles vice versa. So I read the other. This is now if software Yurt is something available, I will read it out and I will write it to the serial. Okay. So whatever is typed in on one serial monitor shall appear on the other side on the serial monitor as well. This is the goal. I will now save it. Save is always a good idea. Uh, I will now upload this to which? To port number 8. Yeah. So the black one, to this one. 
upload. Compiling. Ooh, something wrong. Ooh, bracket. Lost the bracket. Yes. Save. Lost any bricks? No brackets. <laughs> Still compiling? Let's see. Download? Download successful. But of course this is not enough because this one is doing this right now. But the other one is not. So we'll open the serial monitor now for this, for COM number 8. Hmm? I will put it here. First. Now I'll switch to COM board number 9. This is the other Arduino. Yeah. Ooh, there's also. I'll switch also the COM board. I will upload this. Now do the other Arduino as well. Yeah. Seems like we need two Arduinos running. I will open a second window of Arduino, a second instance. Com board, com9, already mentioned it is ready to receive or to, to enter something. This I don't need. I just need the serial monitor, please. COM8. So we have here COM8, we have here COM9. This is the one with the black cable and this is the one with the white cable. So I write here, hello. Enter. Uh, under the other side is written hello. You see? I typed in here and here. And here right here. Hello back. Whatever. It's a chat. It's a chat. Those two are transferring data and it's a chat. Right. Nice. Isn't it? You see? It's not that complicated. Yeah. I am the one. I am the one. Yeah, I'm. I'm the one. Ah, maybe it's foreign. <laughs> and I am the other one. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So. That's it. That's how to communicate. Yeah. What is a little bit annoying, I must say, uh, I only see the messages of the other one. Yeah. Maybe you can write it that the other, that you also see your own, yeah? that you have some sort of chat protocol. Yeah? But this is actually how this is working. You see, it's not that complicated. Hmm? Well, that's it yeah? for your yeah? for serial communication. Yeah? Next time we're going to talk about a different type of communication protocol. Yeah? Mm. We need another library and so on, but we will see. So, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.